one of the questions that came up in the thread was um, assigning four-way specific games to the player two stick uh, in single player mode. So I'm just going to just show you how to do that briefly here, just in a quick video. Uh, Ghosts and Goblins, let's use that as an example. That's a game, uh, it's a four-way game, and it's a game in my favorites list that I have assigned to the uh, four, second player four-way stick. So again, like I mentioned in the previous video, this stick is pretty much permanently set to four-way, unless I'm doing uh, you know a single-player game that requires two eight-ways, or a two-player game that requires two eight-ways, in which case I'll just rotate the um, restrictor plate from the bottom. Again, most of the time it's stuck in four-way. All right, so a game like Ghost and Goblins, that is a four-way game. From the MAME screen, when you launch a MAME game, you're able to tab into the game. I'm just gonna pause it in the background. You're gonna get the menu, and you're gonna see a couple of options at the top. Uh, some of these options I touched on in previous videos when I dealt with a Turbo Twist 2 spinner. But uh, what I didn't touch on were the controls. So if you look at the top, you're going to see input general and you're going to see input this game. All right. And uh, input general, whatever you set in there is going to apply to all of your games. All right. So what I've done, because the majority of my games are played on the left stick and they're eight way, I've set my defaults to basically run off this stick. All right. When you set individual options using the second one, which is input this game, those settings override the global settings. So my exceptions, four-way games on the second player stick, I set up specifically game by game. All right. And again, you know, when you're adding games to your favorite list, you set them up once, they're set up permanently. Uh, you don't have to do any kind of configuration in the future. So you bring up this menu, all you're going to do is go into that second option. Again, input this game. All right. And I'm going to just delete the default values here real quick. All right. So they're all blank now. You're going to see two things. You're going to see all the player one options. You're going to see the player two options. All right. What I want, what my objective is, is I want player one to play off of the four-way, but if I'm having a two-player game with somebody, I want them to be able to play off the same stick as well. Most two-player arcade games tend to be the Switch variety. You know, you play your game, you die, and then player two takes over on the same stick. Easy way to mimic that. So all I'm going to do is I've hit enter and deleted all the, the values that were there. I'm going to hit enter again for player one up. I'm just going to move the joystick up. All right. Going to do that for down as well, and left, and right, and then button one is going to be top left, button two, all right. And why this is working is the iPad 2 that I'm using, or the KeyWiz, all they are is keyboard emulators. So your left and right on a joystick are just keyboard strokes emulated to that joystick. So your joystick, when it moves left, all that is is a keyboard stroke, all right? So using that same logic, you can just reassign these. So what I'm gonna do for the player two is just exactly the same. I'm gonna do exact same strokes. So my left, my right, my player one, and my player two. You then just return to menu. Return to game, I'm going to launch the game. And I was on pause, so probably help if I unpaused it. Add a coin. So you can see I'm on the player two stick here. And there we go. And that's basically all there is to it. So 
So again, um, you know, whatever the majority of your games are, if they are four way, you you might set your left stick as four way. If the exception for you is eight way, make make the eight way games your your right joystick. But the point is, uh, any game that I load is already going to be pre configured. All right. Now there's other ways you can do this, but again, uh, the four ways are the exceptions for me. So Galaga, Miss Pac Man, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, a lot of the stuff that I like, Black Tiger, um, you know, a lot of the other games are either going to be eight-way or they're going to play perfectly well. Uh, you know, two-way game like Galaga plays just fine on my on my eight-way stick. And there you go. Thanks.